The standby signal number one is in force as severe typhoon Haima heads toward Hong Kong. The observatory says it will issue the strong wind signal number three shortly. At 7 p.m., Haima was about 480 kilometers southeast of Hong Kong and is moving northwest at 25 kilometers an hour toward the coast of Guangdong. As Rachel Long reports, a storm is expected to come within 100 kilometers of us tomorrow. Calm before the storm today, perhaps. The sun even made an appearance this morning as the observatory issued the standby signal number one at 8.20. A sharp contrast to the torrential downpours and flooding seen yesterday. Just as the city had seen off Typhoon Sorika, it was time to batten down the hatches again as Haima edges closer to the coast of Guangdong. And with it will come the downpours and strong winds. Haima is expected to be closest to Hong Kong tomorrow afternoon. Since we will be under the influence of the outer rain bands of Haima tomorrow, local weather is expected to deteriorate tomorrow and we will have uh, frequent squalls and heavy rain tomorrow. The seas will also be rough and there will be swells. The observatory today had to take the unusual step of warning the public against fictitious weather forecasts online. The messages apparently came from a shipping company claiming the observatory would issue a number 9 signal at noon tomorrow with a 70 percent chance of a number 10 signal at 2 p.m. In a statement, the department stressed it did not issue such alerts to related sectors. Hong Kong said goodbye to one storm only to be greeted by another one. Authorities are calling on the public to take necessary precautions and for air passengers to change their travel plans. Cathay Pacific, Dragon Air, China Airlines and Eva Air announced that some inbound and outbound flights would be suspended as Haima drew closer. The airport authority has urged passengers to check their flight status before heading to the airport. The MTR Corporation was also taking no chances. It suspended at least a dozen through trains to Guangzhou. Rachel Leung, TVB News.